So it's March 19, definitely way too early to bring the figs out in my area over here. But I'm getting really itchy. I can't wait and I'm pretty confident I could set up the right environment to keep things alive. Um, what I'm doing here is I went and got these black mats from Home Depot and these things not only will uh, stop the cold from coming out of the ground and preventing my roots from warming up but they will also get really hot because of their color because of the black color and reflect a lot of heat up towards my pots heating my roots and getting my figs going so I'll take a look I just brought this outside I'm not sure if it's had enough of a chance to interact but it's about 13 degrees Celsius and I know the the night is gonna drop in the negatives but uh, we'll see what kind of a temperature I get once I finish putting the mats and cover this greenhouse and you'll see it's gonna get really warm really fast as long as that Sun keeps on beating down and we'll be checking on the nighttime temperatures to get these guys awake and ready to go for the 2021 growing season. already 28 degrees and still climbing so why am i going through all this to start my season so early why don't i wait until it's warm outside well it's because of several reasons number one some figs require more days to ripen than my actual season here will allow a variety like black madeira or panache these figs taste incredible so you watch them all form and grow but when it comes time for them to ripen fall hits and it starts raining and getting cold outside and the quality of the fruit goes down or most don't even end up ripening so you can either stick to a variety that ripens in the 60 to 90 day cycle like Ronde de Bordeaux or Salziel which also tastes good or you can get a jump start on the season and be eating delicious figs when everyone else is staring at their tree and waiting the other reason is when a fig ripens in the heat of summer, it adds to the spectacular flavor because of those conditions. Those conditions closer represent the natural environment of the region that figs come from, which is the Mediterranean, where they have long, hot summers, which are completely dry, absolutely no rain in the summer. And this is why California has done so well with fig growing, because they share that summer climate condition all right as you can see that's my setup for the year so i got as many things as i could on carts this way if we have some uncontrollable freeze or something really cold i could easily wheel everything back into my garage so my door here, I have it situated right up against my garage door. I have a back garage door. And I also have something very important, which is this heater down here. Okay. Which I will link uh, in the bottom of the, the video 
if you want to get it. I'll have links for American and Canadian Amazon stores. And the beauty of this heater, I actually got this in the States, but there's a similar one in Canada. Uh, and I also have this, which will keep track of the temperature and turn on the heater if needed. And the beauty of this is it's got an additional sensor. So you don't, it doesn't necessarily grab the temperature of where it's at. You could run this halfway down the greenhouse and kind of get, you know, the temperature in the middle. Okay, so. Okay, so I just turned it on and currently it's showing 20 degrees, which is a fantastic temperature for these guys to wake up. And this guy up here is showing 24. You see a little bit of difference between height makes all the difference. And that's why I actually wish I could get these off the ground because the carts really help with keeping the figs warmer. All right, so there is one other thing that I have in my arsenal that really helps me out and I'm gonna show it to you next. All right, so here is one of my secret weapons, okay? And again, I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description down below of uh, where on Amazon you can get it. Okay, so you get this piece here and you get this piece here. And what happens is this piece here is linked to your uh, internet, okay? It's plugged right in. So you can put it anywhere near where your internet is. And then this guy here is basically monitoring the temperature and relaying it back to that base, okay? So, and then the base is relaying back the info to your phone. So while you're sitting on the couch watching TV or anything, you can actually just open your phone and take a look and see exactly what the temperature is. And the beauty of it is you get this little little cable with a, with a sensor on the end. So you're actually getting two readings, one where this guy is and the other one where you decide to put the sensor. So normally I'll put one at the front of my greenhouse and then the sensor, I'll drag it as far back as possible, okay? So I'm gonna try to send you a screenshot too, so you can see how the interface looks, okay? And we're gonna go right now and put this in the greenhouse and see what we get. My garage is 19 degrees currently. And here is how I access my greenhouse. Okay, so let's see what's going on in here. Okay, so we can see that my heater is not on yet. And the reason for that is the temperature, even though it feels a lot cooler, hasn't reached the right point to engage the heater. All right, so we're gonna put this guy down and we'll come back later and see what the temperature is. So I got my sensor here, okay, and the main unit is all the way there, okay. And here is how the screen on your phone will look like. The top portion shows you the sensor and the bottom shows you the temperature of where the probe is. All right, so I got this guy set to five degrees Celsius and currently here it's 13. So the minute uh, it goes below five, this guy is gonna kick in and hopefully keep everything from freezing. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, 
share, and leave me any comments if you have any questions.